Hey, what is up everybody? This is Nexus1G and today I'm bringing you a game of Dota 2. It's a game that I'm personally new to and I want to take a moment to thank a good new friend of mine, Pantera1000, for not only introducing me to this great game, but for also providing me a beta key so that way I can actually play it too. Um, he'll be playing mid as Tiny on our team. I'm going to be playing as Keeper of the Light and one of the first times that I am playing this, uh, this hero, uh, Thermal Blue is going to be playing Windrunner, Bramble Blast is going to be playing Alchemist, and Aquatic Ambience is he in the game yet? Oh, he's down here. Aquatic Ambience is going to be playing uh, Brewmaster. And I'm going to go bottom lane with uh, Aquatic Ambience. Uh, Pantera is going to be soloing mid, and Thermal Blue and um, <clears throat> Bramble Blast are going to be going top. Uh, up uh, uh, in top lane, they're going to be going up against Erratic as uh, Night Stalker, Crazy Man as the Witch Doctor, mid uh, Pantera is going to be facing Medusa, played by Mattress, and Dark Link will be playing Drow Ranger, and Everlast will be playing Bane, going again up against myself and Aquatic Ambience. Now, one of the things that I really like about this game is that it's kind of a mix between a couple of my favorite genres. Uh, that being a real-time strategy like StarCraft II or WarCraft II or WarCraft III even, uh, with an RPG. So while it's like an RTS in the way you control your character by clicking and, and using abilities and targeting those abilities, your character that you control, which typically you only control one unless your character has certain abilities that give you... Uh, multiple things under your control um, you actually advance that character by uh, upgrading his skills and leveling up now these creeps right here what they're going to do is they're just dumb cpu controlled creeps they spawn at the at the various barracks just like that and on the radiant side they'll spawn over here dire side is this and then they just start running toward the other side, uh, down that lane. Now, one of the first goals in the game is to successfully harass your lane, harass the people who are against you while they're harassing you, and trying to get a last hit in on these creeps. So what you want to do is you want to target it so that way that last hit is yours, and that's how you earn extra money which you can use to buy your equipment. Now, equipment is another depth to this game because there are so many items and it can be a little bit overwhelming. Here's one page, here's two pages, here's three pages, and here's four pages of just the basic items that you can buy for your character. In addition to that, um, you also have only six inventory slots, so it's very important to be able to successfully manage what uh, equipment you're carrying at any given time. And sometimes you even have to drop equipment in order to accept new items or sell old equipment in order to get new items. In a lot of cases also, you can upgrade uh, what you have purchased into other items. So for instance, if you buy an iron branch, you can upgrade it either into a magic wand, which gives some stats and some ability to heal, uh, you can uh, upgrade it into a buckler, which will give you some armor as well as attributes, or a headdress, which gives you regen and attributes. Um, so there's a lot of options and uh, various ways that you can go about building your character and making your hero as effective as possible with your team. And team composition also, so what characters your teammates select and you select, uh, is very important. And um, oftentimes what I've seen is in comp competitive play, each team will get a pick in their draft. So one team will pick first, the next team will pick second, and then it will go back to the original team for the next player to pick their hero until all 10 heroes are picked for both sides. And that definitely brings a depth to the game where you reactively pick your heroes in order to be able to effectively counter and work against what heroes the other team is being affected by. At this level of our play, 
uh, with me and my four other fellows that I play with, um, we pretty much just stick with our heroes at this point, especially myself, uh, absolutely brand new to the game. And so I'm not very versed in many heroes. I was playing Drow Ranger a lot, and that was a lot of fun. And um, as many people will tell you, she is overpowered. She's a broken hero. Um, but it was still fun to play her. Uh, it was easy for me to pick up the game using her. Um, now, after about probably, a, I think I had about 60 or 70 hours under my belt. Now I decided to pick up uh, support because that's what my team needed. And I uh, had laned uh, in a previous game against Keeper of the Light and realized how ob obnoxious, absolutely obnoxious, Keeper of the Light is to lane against because he uh, has an ability called Illuminate. It channels a ball of light energy, building power the longer it's channeled. And once it's released, the ball deals damage and gives vision in a line. Um, the longer it's channeled, the more damage it deals. Now what you can do is what I'm about to do, what I was going to try to do right here is just stand behind these lines next to their tower and just channel this and cast it straight through the trees and over into the lane where it will do a significant amount of damage to anybody standing there. Um, it also has an exceptionally long range. Um, and that makes it just an absolute godsend when it comes to being able to lane effectively, keeping their carries, which um, are carries are characters that you have to level up. They aren't too useful at the beginning of the game, but get significantly powerful at the end of the game. And if they don't get fed by the end of the game, then your team just isn't going to be able to measure up. So it's important to get them fed. It's also important to keep your other team, the other team from getting theirs fed. And by harassing them and forcing their characters to run back and regen or to be out of lane and not getting last hits, that's exactly what you're doing. Um, let's see how we're doing in this game, since it was one of my first games. Drow Ranger's currently level 4. Brewmaster's currently level 4. It looks like he's got just a slight edge over Drow Ranger. Let's see here. No, actually, Drow Ranger, it looks like she just got a little bit ahead, but I believe before she wasn't. Um, Bane is also a little bit sla a little bit behind uh, Aquatic Ambience and Brewmaster. So this uh, constant harassment has actually helped getting us that slight lead that we need. Um, let's have a look here. We can. Uh, this is great for commentating because we can... Uh, when we're watching replays, we can look at all kinds of information about the game, including last hits and denies. Now, as we can see, uh, where am I? I have six last hits simply from harassing because I'm casting the spell and getting last hits on the, on the various mobs. Now, the significant amount of damage that he does is just amazing. There, I got a last hit on a kill because of just a simple auto attack, but <laughs> which happens on occasion, and I have to laugh when it does happen because, yeah. Unfortunately, I did get taken out by Drow Ranger. She has that incredible ability to slow with every shot that takes almost, well, simply an insignificant amount of mana. Uh, luckily, Aquatic Ambience was able to get away, and he's able to get back and get healed, and that way we can get back in the game without feeding them more gold. Bounties, by killing other heroes, you get a bounty, and that's one of the best ways to get a lot of gold really fast and to get leveled really fast, but typically you want to avoid getting in positions where you can get killed early in the game, so it can be a little bit hard to get that first blood. Um, but it's always useful when you do and when you can, because that gives your team a huge boost. It uh, it's a huge hit toward their team and all around it's just a great thing in addition to uh going against the heroes and laning with the creeps you also have in some instances uh folks that stick out in the jungle and take out these neutral creeps in order to level some characters are much better at that than other characters are and uh 
at this point, nobody's really playing a character that's really good at that. I would say the best one would be Alchemist, probably. Like I said, I'm new at the game, so bear with me if that's not quite right. Right, but he gets an area of effect that that can help him uh, more easily jungle than any of the other characters that we have right now. So all of our characters are in the lane. It looks like for the most part, all of their characters are in the lane too, except if they're crossing over to do some ganking or to support the lane. Um, now, let's see here. Drow just hit level six and level six is a very important level for a character to hit because that is when they get their ultimate. Uh, Drow's ultimate is purely passive. It's just, it provides her with bonus stats uh, and it grants double the bonus if there are no nearby enemy heroes within a 400 AOE, which means that when it comes to uh, farming up creeps or neutral, neutral, neutral spawns, it's awesome because if there's if there's no enemy heroes around, she can hit real hard and get those last hits really, really easily and consistently. Um, she's also able to push lanes by killing the enemy creeps very quickly uh, later on in the game as well. Our brewmaster just hit level six as well, which means that he has just received his own ultimate. And so uh, let's see how they're doing. Uh, Night Stalker is also level six. Bane's got his ultimate. Let's see here. Tiny, how are you doing? Tiny's level eight. He's really getting up there. I myself am only level five, but as a support equipment, uh, things like gold equipment and... Um, leveling is not that important you're a powerful character to begin with so you can level slower than the other characters which makes it great for a character like this to lane with a carry because he can give all the last hits to the carry and still be highly effective mid and late game right here it looks like yep I get taken out yet again. At this point, I have been taken out by Drow Ranger a total of three times, I believe. Here I am. Three times, and all three of those are Drow Ranger. And unfortunately, I was getting her fed pretty good with... Uh, he's a lot softer, squishier target. Uh, he takes a lot more damage than the uh, characters I was used to playing, which I was playing um, character, uh, heroes like... Uh, Drow Ranger, she's a little bit tougher. I was playing characters like, um, let's see here, I can't remember the name of him. Uh, I want to say his name was Bloodseeker. Yes, that's what his name was. The Hero Bloodseeker is one also I, was, I had tried out recently. Um, and he is a lot more uh, hardy than keeper of the light keeper of the light goes down really fast mid late any time of the game and i'm thinking that it would be a good idea for me to uh start out with a little bit of strength because strength gives you additional health and that's what i think i may start building toward an early game a little bit more um currently what my build is for keeper of the light is to simply get uh, boots of travel so that way i can travel between lanes and provide quick support uh or uh with my ultimate i'll be able to teleport heroes into me so i can teleport someplace and then teleport a hero to me uh so that way we can get lanes quickly supported and quickly fortified <clears throat> beyond that um I would also get the Boots of Mana because I get an ability that I can give myself or other characters mana and with the Boots of Mana that just enhances that ability a significant amount. Um, now I tend to stay b back pretty far when I'm playing Keeper of the Light, uh, staying be well behind the action for the most part because, for instance, it takes so long for me to channel my Illuminate ability, which is my big damage dealer. Uh, so I tend to stay back and so later in the game health isn't that much health isn't that bad and as I got more used to playing this character and where to keep uh, myself and keeping up a little bit better map awareness than I had before when I was playing the other heroes 
I am able to survive better without that additional HP, but it could always be a help. Now, where I was always putting what gold I did happen to get before um, was I would uh, put that gold into the uh, Boots of Travel, like I said, the uh, Mana Boots as well, and then anything additional that I got beyond that, I would uh, buy Dagon, which is a high damage wand that I would use to help supplement my illuminate ability or to provide a quick last hit or a significant amount of damage to enemy heroes that were low or that we were uh, focusing on or had a lot of HP and needed to be focused down like if we're facing a, a really fed Ursa for instance. Now uh, as we can see, we are getting to the point where we're going to be starting to roam soon, looking for team fights and getting kills, and starting to really start push these lanes. Um, that is, that's uh, wh where we're going to be heading soon, but not just yet. We actually f end up falling a little bit behind in this game. Um, Let's have a look here and see what the XP per minute is here. Uh, yeah, it, you can see here that, um, it, generally speaking, especially with me feeding Drow Ranger, that they have gotten uh, pretty far ahead, especially with her right there. Uh, for, the, for the rest, it's fairly even, but Drow Ranger is so powerful that she can upset things significantly just with that little bit of, of additional additional uh, experience. Um, now, when it comes to hero level, as you can see, Drow Ranger, of course, in the far lead uh, with everybody else being about even, and um, it looks like uh, they're Witch Doctor is uh, lagging a little bit behind. He just hit level 6, it looks like. Well, actually, it looks like he's been level 6 a while. He's about to hit level 7, but everybody else has been level 6 for a pretty long time. So uh, he is lagging a little bit behind. And that may be what helped us get back in the game, because his ultimate is insane. And you will doubtlessly see that through this game. Now, as you can see, uh, four of my team are definitely starting to push here to this bottom, to this top tower. Um, they're going to try to take it out, but they're not going to be able to take this tower out just at this point. We did already lose our middle tower. Uh, I have just uh, come in and I'm joining them to assist in getting down there to that bottom tower. It looks like Everlast, as Bane is uh, also teleporting in to help defend the top tower. We're still trying to figure out how we can push against this, uh, making strategies. Here comes Aquatic Ambience from behind. He's got him slowed. My uh, Illuminate hits her, hits her, and she is going to go down for 500. 500. Aquatic Ambience gets 500 uh, bounty for taking down Drow Ranger. That's excellent that's going to be a big help it's going to take drow ranger out of the game for actually a significant period of time uh, she's going to be out for about 30 seconds so this gives our uh the dire team our team uh, oppor an opportunity a great opportunity to uh, get the re these other two heroes down witch doctor and there goes his ultimate and it looks like aquatic ambience may know he made it out of there uh, just in the nick of time uh, that's amazing a mattress uh, and aquatic ambience and erratic is now joining them so it's going to be a dangerous fight especially with aquatic ambience so low unfortunately he ran face first into erratic who just slapped him down and said no you are not going that way <laughs> All right, so we have Tiny actually coming up river. He does take out Witch Doctor. However, unfortunately for Tiny, Drow Ranger is back. Unfortunately for Thermal Blue, she gets taken out too. A Alchemist is going to get taken out. And the Dire team, our team, is just not doing so good. I get taken out as well. All five of us are down for the next 30 seconds. 
That is highly unfortunate. Brewmaster got taken out first. He's already back. We have uh, what the Witch Doctor, who was taken out. He teleported back in. It looks like we may be losing this top tower. Aquatic Ambience has teleported in. And he's going to be doing his best to stop this push. But I don't think that there's going to be very much he can do. And it looks like he may have just sacrificed himself in order to try to save this tower. Uh, I believe that may very well be his ultimate um, that he just cast. I'm not familiar with Brewmaster, and that appears to have completely saved him. Um, but unfortunately, he runs back in just when he shouldn't have, gets taken out by Erratic, I believe, who got that last shot. Tiny tries to come in and save him, does not work. Uh, I come in, I use my Illuminate just in time so Tiny could get out of there. Uh, Al Alchemist has popped his, uh, his ultimate and is looking to kill them. And w it looks like we got a couple there. We did lose Brewmaster again, but whew, a little bit of a comeback. Luckily, we didn't lose two towers. We didn't even take damage to that second top tower so we are two towers down and we have not yet even touched one of their towers good enough we are now gathered again everybody's respawned uh looks like tiny needs to regenerate a little bit though he does not have anything to really help with that looks like he may have been checking for a regen rune there hoping that there would be something there to help him heal up unfortunately there was nothing there he looks like he's going to go on down and try to check this one it's going to turn out to be a double damage rune which isn't going to help him out as much as a regen rune would have but it is definitely not the worst thing he could have gotten at that point Looks like uh, Aquatic Ambience and Pantera are going to be going uh, pushing down middle, trying to, but Erratic is up here. He's going to try to stop this as quickly as possible. Uh, he is alone in there. Oh no, there, he is not alone. There is also Medusa here. So uh, this push could be stopped. Now I pop my ultimate here. That allows me to channel Illuminate without actually having to be there. And that is, a, that is a great ability. So that way I was able to push up, channel that ability, get that cast off without actually putting myself in too much danger. And that's an excellent way to do it. Uh, here I go doing the same thing again. I did not hit anybody that time. However, I was able to get them pushed back. Now it looks like uh, the Dyer, our team, has decided to return to top and we're going to try to finish off this top tower. Uh, I'm going to be coming in from behind here along with Pantera. They have fortified their uh, their towers but that fortification is now worn off and hopefully yes we do take down that tower. Our first tower for the Dyer um, is, is down and now it looks like we're going to try to push once more Crazy Man is pr almost dead, and he gets taken out by uh, our alchemist, Bramble Blast. Whew, and Bane has come to support their tower. Now, we're sticking around here. There's Erratic and Mattress also coming in from the side, flanking us. It looks like things are not going to go our way right now for the second tower. Everybody's going to get pushed back, it seems. Uh, that did not hit anybody, I don't think. Maybe it hit Erratic, but I could not see. Uh, we have Drow Ranger here now, too, and she's going to be pushing up, trying to get a kill here as well. She's going to get a kill. Maybe, a, uh, yes, on Alchemist, it looks like she's going to get that kill. Oh, that's too bad. Erratic just got a kill on Brewmaster. Oh, and they are hurting, but they are going to survive. I am out of there along with Thermal Blue. We have made it out alive, but that was a loss of a team fight. That was over extension to try to get that second tower. We should have left good enough alone with the first tower and tried a different lane, most likely. Let's see here. Both of these towers are damaged, and both of those would have made a, a fair uh, target for for another attempt rather than pushing through where they knew where we knew they knew we were already at and we paid a dear price for it dear dear price it looks like they are going to be pushing this top tower and we may lose it but hopefully hopefully 
Pantera will be able to hold off their team while we get there. We saw them heading up that way. We started congregating around this tower. However, it looks like the Radiant has changed their minds. They decided not to make the same mistake that we had just made. Radic appears to be waiting for a rune to spawn in this location for a bit of an extra ability. Uh, Bane, I am not sure. Bane is playing a risky game up here, just chilling in our in our jungle, right outside our jungle. That's that's risky behavior. Uh, we have uh, Mattress and Crazy Man over here getting a little bit of farm, and Erratic looks like he's going to go down here, maybe for this rune. No, he's going into the jungle, uh, and we also have everlast here he is going to be going over maybe to the secret shop maybe to this tower let's see where he's going uh, let's see here they're still farming jungle bane is coming up here to this tower it looks like he may be calling in for a strike on this tower uh, I'm not sure why he was pushing that. In the meantime, look over here. It looks like we got a team fight about to happen. We have two Radiant teleporting in. Uh, we already have Drow Ranger here. Uh, we had Medusa gets taken out before I could even see what had happened. He gets she get he gets focused down. Oh wow, that was that was harsh. Um, his grandmother felt that one, I think. It looks like we are going to get our second tower here, and that's really great news. That will even out the game at this point. Whew! And at this point, it looks like oh, another team fight here. Three versus five. This is not going to be good for the radiant. That is for sure. A mattress down. Oh, double kill. Thermal Blue may go down to Drow Ranger. Thermal Blue goes down to Drow Ranger. They're after Erratic, who is almost dead, but he gets away into the base just in time. Looks like Drow Ranger is going to get Pantera, but no! They turn it around with an expert stun between Alchemist and Pantera, who just eliminate and annihilate Drow Ranger and a successful, successful team fight. Um being that their players that get killed are going to be out a lot longer especially drow ranger because she is now level 17 and that is that puts her out of the game for a very long time before she can come back and help her team and that is a huge huge victory for the dire now as we're respawning here back in base it looks like we are going to be trying to push mid i see there's one already down here bramble blast is already down middle i am joining him being followed by aquatic ambience and thermal blue is going to be following him uh it looks like he has prepped his uh, stun potion i don't remember what that ability is called unstable concoction he hit everlast with it and will that hit that hits and i take him out with the illuminate just in the nick of time before he was able to get away that was an excellent excellent kill by myself if i do say so now we're going to be up against it looks like just erratic in middle uh but wait witch doctor has come up the river and he gets taken out handily uh now erratic is pushing up he saw that uh witch doctor was in trouble he thought he could come in and maybe try to save witch doctor but that wasn't going to happen it was never going to happen because witch doctor just got taken out too fast dark link it looks like she had a rune of invisibility she sneaks up on our alchemist he gets taken out easily of course with the level 17 overpowered overfed drow ranger who has just won that team fight i would say for the radiant and has forced the the dire back onto their side of the river now as things are starting to heat up right here in the middle right across the river we have the radiant gathering up to get ready to push across and maybe for a team fight and the dire as well waiting for their partners to respawn so that way he can get back into the game and we can start trying to push down this tower right here and this next team fight will be a significant battle in the outcome of this game 
That was really stupid by me. That was one of those moves that just being new at Keeper of the Light, not understanding how squishy he is, just ran up right under that tower and almost sacrificed myself needlessly to the Radiant. Now, uh, the Radiant has four. Uh, looks like, yes, uh, with Mattress, all five heroes are right there at center, and we have all all we have four of the heroes and the, our fifth has respawned he is coming down and he is going to be the team fight has already started the team fight has already started it looks like we have already lost tiny we have lost windrunner oh no no run away alchemist th this is not going to go well for you I have casted Illuminate. I have hit them. It sends them back and was able to help uh, uh, Bramble Blast and Aquatic get out of there with their lives. Thank goodness it did stop them just for a quick second, even if it did not get any kills. Now it looks like the Radiant are now going to be pushing this tower, see if they can be successful in pushing this down. It looks like I am going down before with a, in a blink of an eye and Bramble Blast, he stuns Dark Link and Everlast. Excellent stun. There is no doubt in my mind that he would not have gotten away unless he had successfully gotten off that stun on Drow Ranger. She would have simply slowed him and eaten him alive. Whew, what a game. What a game. I tell you, this is amazing. It looks like the Radiant are now pushing further in. They're going to try to t push in to get this third middle tower. It looks like, oh, Dark Link, Drow Ranger is just getting away. Wait a second, she comes back. Oh, she really took a chance there. And, oh, Windrunner, you could have totally taken her. I understand there's a missed chance, but you should have gone for it. She is so fed, she can take you out in the blink of an eye. She could just look at you funny, and you will die. Now, it looks like the... All right, us, the Dire, we have pushed back. Crazy Man and Mattress, the... Uh, two surviving members of their team with any kind of health we have successfully pushed them back and now we are regrouping uh waiting for two of our primary uh heroes to respawn thermal blue as well as aquatic ambience in hopes that we can come back into this game they have pushed all the way into our our middle lane luckily we have not been barracks yet so we're not going to be overrun by creeps just yet see when you destroy the barracks the melee barracks especially they spawn mega creeps and they are very tough and pretty powerful and when you get barracks you're spending a lot of the game keeping their lane pushed back which means that you're not going to be helping out in as many hero fights and they're going to be able to be pushing other lanes while you're just trying to keep creeps off. So it looks like everybody's split up again. Uh, Crazy Man's trying to get caught up in level a little bit here. Dark Link, she is farming for her Daedalus. She has gotten her Daedalus. Uh, it looks like Mattress and Everlast uh, are up here farming top. Maybe going to push a little bit, see what they can do up top. As well as the Dire are also, we're trying to do a little bit of farming out here as well. Looks like I may be waiting to see if the this lane gets pushed a little bit so that way I can illuminate and hopefully stop this push from occurring now this was called middle it looks like we decided to go ahead and try to get this push going erratic comes in it looks like another team fight on its way drow ranger joining them along with mattress and everlast okay the dire actually backs off a little bit gives everybody a little bit of mana uh there i do and everybody kind of little bit concerned about what's going on here let's see here looks like the radiant may be pushing now in up back up into dyer's territory up through the middle lane we are having to fall back now by 
ultimate is just now falling off unfortunately so i won't be able to channel that ability while doing other attacks and restoring mana i will have be forced to channel only that ability i also won't have my support ability which i don't believe that at this point in this character i know much about it to, enough to use it which uh is blinding light which actually gives enemies a high mischance which would have been a great thing to use against where have i gone oh bottom lane we got some action going on down here that i almost missed look at this all five of their heroes are pushing up bottom lane trying to take down this tower we come in look at this oh we are focusing i take out drow ranger um mattress is going down crazy man down oh they have lost three of their key heroes four it looks like the fourth is going down here what an upsetting victory what an upsetting victory this has changed the game everybody on the dire side has survived all four or four of the radiant side has died and we are now free to push whatever tower we please this is a huge upsetting loss now it looks like in, uh, to take advantage of this great victory we have decided as the dire to go ahead and take Roshan this will give one of our heroes a an aegis which will provide us an ability to resurrect as soon as we die and it does not give the radiant any gold or experience on the first death they have to kill that hero twice now in order to get that bonus and there is the aegis it is picked up by aquatic and he's going to be carrying that so if they happen to kill him no gold no experience he respawns full health full mana and he will be able to just come right back into the fight as soon as he dies and it will not help them at all now uh, we're returning back to our base because it looks like we may be expecting a push uh doing a little bit of purchasing and uh just turtling up just for a second while the dire appears to be just trying to get caught up here doing a little bit of farming of their own whoo and right now what we're looking at is about an even game they are missing one two three towers on the radiant side the dire side we are missing one two three four four towers actually F four towers are missing from our side so whew, we are just under them four kills behind and it looks like uh we have officially come back in this game um as far as levels go it looks like tiny is getting pretty well fed he's only two levels behind drow ranger alchemist is level 15 as well and uh brewmaster as well is level 15. uh thermal blue is hanging a little bit behind there he is still level 13 but not too far behind he's going to be getting caught up real quick especially if the team fights keep going the way they do it looks like radiant is also all gathered up in the middle they're pushing across the river right now team fight incoming it looks like oh pantera may be going down quickly no he chases off erratic he is chasing erratic right to the tower can he make it out can he survive no he cannot he's going to go down and uh alchemist is out of there medusa has survived so it's two for two at this point they did take me out i don't see what happened there and it looks like oh no run away oh he stuns and damages both himself bramble blast does as well as aquatic ambience because he did not throw that unstable concoction aquatic ambience is going to be going after medusa and witch doctor witch doctor gets taken out by an expert shot from windrunner and mattress is in a lot of trouble right now and it looks like no matter what we are going to be getting there middle tower first middle tower down for the dire or excuse me for the radiant 
and uh, Aquatic Ambience has gone down, but he did have that Aegis, so he's going to be right back up, full health, full mana, and Medusa is out of health, out of mana, she is trying to stop this push, she's doing her best, she's trying her heart out, but it is just not going to happen, it looks like they the dire very well may take the second tower she does have reinforcements coming erratic is right there but i don't think that at this point this is going to be enough but wait three more coming all five are there we do get the tower however the radiant is there now we are already hurt can we take out anybody here without dying i'm already dead again Woo, they really do not like me and is aquatic aquatic ambience does not make it out he tiny misses his his ability that would have stunned erratic to save him bramble blast it looks like going down as well oh this is no good no good again we another team fight we have lost but a huge victory i believe overall we have taken down two of their middle towers and brought this game to a oh, actually you know it's actually in our favor now they have one external tower left and three in their base we have two external towers left and three in our base so we are actually one tower ahead at this point still some kills behind still behind a little bit in levels but we are getting caught up at this point this is an exciting game i tell you exciting game and I don't know who's going to win. Actually, I do know who's going to win because I played the game. But I'm going to pretend for your sake that I don't know who's going to win. And I'm just going to be as excited as you are as watching this game. Okay, it looks like uh, we're turtling up in our base right now. We see that they are trying to push up middle. They saw that we have turtled inside our base trying to protect this middle tower. And they have decided wisely, wisely to back off and go back to do a little bit more farming to try to get caught up again after that. After we took out those towers and got pulled a little bit ahead. So they're going to be trying to pull a little bit ahead here. Well, we turtle up for a second. Now, we noticed that they did fall back. So, we are heading out. It looks like we may be doing another middle push. We are gathering here in the middle. And it looks like we're going to be pushing with this wave of creeps. Trying to get up there to try to take out this middle tower. And maybe these barracks. That would be ideal if that were possible for us to do. However... They're going to have a lot of opportunity to see exactly what's going on. It looks like Erratic has got a vision on us. He's checking out what's going on. He's probably calling to his teammates, hey, they're coming up middle. You better get over here and help defend our base. And that's exactly what's happening. It looks like Crazy Man and Dark Link are heading up to uh, under this tower. They're going to try to defend this to the best of their ability. But instead of going all the way down middle, they, we do cut across jungle. We find Mattress out of out of position she is going to go down mattress is done here mattress cannot move mattress is out of health mattress goes down oh that is bad luck mattress you got caught out of position something fierce there that's no good uh, okay so after going through the jungle there it looks like we are returning back middle uh aquatic ambience is going to go down bottom it looks like he may try to help push this creep line down bottom while we try to push middle um actually hmm can't tell what's going on with the dire right now what we're doing but on the radiant side they are still on full alert they are trying to protect their base. They're trying to protect their tower. They know we went jungle. They know we killed Mattress, but they don't know where we went after that. They're a little confused right now. It looks like they're getting on to the idea that we have decided not to complete the push, but have instead fallen back, and they are going to go back to their farming positions and trying to get these lanes pushed back themselves. Looks like uh, we have Bramble Blast over here. He's going to be farming... Tiny is going to be maybe, nope, not visiting the secret shop. Aquatic Ambience, however, will be visiting the secret shop. He just picked up a Vitality Booster. 
And let's see here. Let's see. How are we doing? It looks like, wow, Drow Ranger carrying the game for the Irradiant side with 16 kills. 16 kills, only 5 deaths. And level 21 now. She's almost max level. Max level is 25, and she is almost there. Oh boy, this is, but we do have Pantera as Tiny. He is level 19 now. Look how big that guy has gotten. He is a hulking monster of an Igor with a hunchback and everything. He is going to be the perfect counter with his stuns, his high HP to be able to counter that overfed Drow Ranger. Now, it looks like uh, just a bit of farming going on on both sides now. Nothing special, nothing exciting going on, but it looks like the Dire, we may be gathering up in the middle. Let's see, myself and Thermal were watching this tower very closely because we saw that they were fighting right here in that river. And we're kind of concerned that they may be trying to push. So... It looks like they pulled back from their farming to see for a moment, to see if maybe they were pushing up mid. We definitely know they're not pushing up mid anymore. It looks like Bramble's trying to get this line pushed back, doing a little bit of creep farming, uh, which he successfully does. We have Pantera going to the secret shop and Aquatic as well. I believe he may have been picking up something there from the secret shop. Uh, and Erratic there was checking to see what's going on with Roshan, but Roshan is still dead from the last kill. Uh, and it looks like yeah, Everlast is over here farming their ancient camp, trying to get some needed money and items in order to help him get back into this game. Everlast, uh, let's see here, only level 16 at this point. So, while not necessarily a hero that needs levels to be effective, it definitely always helps. He does have all of his skills maxed, however, at level 16. Um, they're the worst that they have on their team right now is witch doctor who has not yet even had his skills maxed he is over here at the store it looks like he's trying to buy something he does not have a lot of uh, items that are significant and look at this look at this dire is pushing across the river into their jungle looking for to catch people out of out of place, out of position. Uh, it looks like they did catch Mattress out of position. However, they weren't able to follow up on that kill. How? Oh, but looks like Erratic and Crazy Man. Crazy Man definitely going down. Erratic, it looks like he's going down too. Yes, with the Illuminate. I uh, take out uh, Erratic and Mattress comes in, tries to save her fellows, but that is not going to work. Sorry, too late. Three of you together may have had a chance. But definitely not if you're if they're already dead and you're going in alone. Look at the health on these two guys, two th almost two thousand on Bramble, over two thousand on Pantera, and almost two thousand on Aquatic as well. We're oh this this bottom tower is going to go down very easily to our tanks and our and uh, thermal. I personally do not do a lot of damage to towers as myself. And it looks like we're going to try to push in a little bit further. Maybe try to get this inner tower too. And maybe try to barrack, rax them in order to get our mega creeps on this low lane. But no, it looks like we're a little bit apprehensive about that. We realize that they have started gathering there under that tower. And when they have the high ground, they don't have a mischance. We will have a mischance. And that definitely and vision as well gives them the uh the upper hand when it comes to trying to push up onto their platform into their base now it looks like we're just going to at this point we realize that we have taken a significant upper hand in this game by taking out that last tower and we are just farming a little bit in their jungle while waiting to 
push on this bottom lane it looks like we still want to push on this bottom lane however it's we're not so sure about it okay here comes a major fight everybody is here crazy man's going down erratic's going down everlast went down mattress oh erratic uh come on can they get erratic can they get mattress it does not look like this is actually going to happen. They are going to make it back into their well where they'll be able to regenerate a ton of health very quickly. And we are going to be able to barracks them and take out that melee and range barracks. Both of those getting mega creeps. M Mattress tries to come out. Erratic and Crazy Man as well trying to stop this push. Trying to stop this push right into their base, right up to their doorstep. It looks like this game is officially over almost. It is all but over at this point because we have pushed them right back into their their well and there is seemingly nothing that they can do at this point to stop this push to stop us from taking both towers as well as their ancient aquatic ambience may ended up dying to this tower oh very close looks like yes the two towers have fallen pantera is starting to beat on the ancient that ancient looks like it's going to be going down erratic comes in tries to stop it but no it's not going to happen dire wins everybody gg well played all around comeback kids heroes and all it looks like who what a game what a game indeed that was one of the most exciting games that I've ever personally played. I loved commenting this game. Um, it was exciting from beginning to end. Team fights everywhere. Some were won, some were lost by both sides. And yet, and even with the disadvantage we had by mid game, we came back as dire and we were able to take down their ancient and gain the advantage. Oh, what a game. What a game, everybody. Hey, this is Nexus 1G. It was a pleasure bringing you this game. I want to thank you very much. I want you to comment. I want you to rate. I want you to subscribe. Let me know what you think of my commentary. Let me know what you think of, of Dota 2 on my channel. And if you like it, I will definitely be posting more because I absolutely love this game. It is the funnest game I have played in a long time. And again, one more thank you to Pantera1000 for introducing me to this game as well as giving me the beta key. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all my viewers and subscribers. Y'all have a great day.